Jean Paul Francis Henriques, born January 9, 1973, known professionally as Jean Paul, is a Jamaican dancehall rapper, singer, and record producer. Jean Paul was born in Kingston, Jamaica to parents Garth and Francis. His mother is a well known painter. His paternal grandfather is from a Jewish family that had emigrated from Portugal, and his paternal grandmother was Afro Caribbean. His mother is of English and Chinese Jamaican descent. Sean Paul was raised as a Catholic. Many members of his family are swimmers. His grandfather was on the first Jamaican men's national water polo team. His father also played water polo for the team in the 1960s and competed in long distance swimming, while Paul's mother was a butterfly swimmer. Paul played for the national water polo team from the age of 13 to 21 when he gave up the sport in order to launch his musical career. He attended Wolmer's Boys School and the College of Arts, Science, and Technology, now known as the University of Technology, where he was trained in commerce with an aim of pursuing an occupation in swimming. In 2012, Paul married his longtime girlfriend Jody Stewart, a Jamaican TV host. In August 2016, it was announced that the couple was expecting their first child. On February 26, 2017, Sean Paul announced the birth of his son, Levi Blaze. Paul's manager and producer Jeremy Harding first heard about the singer when his brother told him about seeing someone at a small open mic event in Kingston who sounded a lot like the popular dance hall DJ and toaster Super Cat. Harding eventually met the singer when Paul came by his studio to ask for some advice. During the meeting Paul recorded a vocal over Harding's rhythm track and in the process created the song Baby Girl. Paul began hanging out at the studio every day, and the pair collaborated on several more tracks. When they recorded Infiltrate they decided they had something good enough to get on the radio. As Sean Paul started to attract local attention, Harding began looking after his affairs. He later told hit quarters that his support of Paul's fledgling career initially led him assuming the roles of DJ, manager, road manager, and security guard. Paul made a quick cameo appearance in the 1998 film Belly on Stage Performing. He made a very successful collaboration with DMX and Mr. Vegas, Top Shot Her, as a soundtrack of the film. In 2000, Paul released his debut album, Stage One with VP Records. In 2002, he began working extensively with a team of producers and choreographers from Toronto, namely J. Blaze and Blaze Entertainment and announced the release of his second album, Duty Rock. Pushed by the success of the singles Gimme the Light and the Billboard Hot 100 topper, Get Busy, the album was a worldwide success, eventually selling over 6 million copies. The album Duty Rock won the Reggae Album of the Year at the 46th Annual Grammy Awards in 2004. His single Get Busy was also nominated for Best Rap Song in that year. Simultaneously, Sean Paul was heard on Beyoncé's US No. 1 single Baby Boy and Blue Cantrell's Breathe, a chart hit in Europe. Both helped to push his reputation further still in the United States. He appeared on Punked, 106 and Park, Sean Paul Respect, Making the Video, Get Busy, Gimme the Light, and Like Glue, and his music videos have been broadcast on MTV and BET. Paul's third album The Trinity was released on September 27, 2005. The album produced five big hits, We Be Burnin', Ever Blazin', Give It Up To Me, Never Gonna Be The Same and the US chart topping smash hit Temperature. The video of Give It Up To Me, featuring Keisha Cole, was featured in the movie Step Up in 2006. He was nominated for four awards at the 2006 Billboard Music Awards, including Male Artist of the Year, Rap Artist of the Year, Hot 100 Single of the Year, and Pop Single of the Year for his hit Temperature. He also won an American Music Award for, When You Gonna, Give It Up To Me beating Kanye West and Nick Lachey who were also nominated for the award. His song Send It On From The Trinity featured on the 2005 Vauxhall Corsa advert. Sean Paul often contributes his songs to various rhythm-driven albums, by VP Records. In March 2007, 
he returned to Jamaica to perform at the Cricket World Cup 2007 opening ceremony. Paul appears on the game Def Jam, Fight for New York as part of Snoop Dogg's crew and again in the game sequel, Def Jam, Icon. Imperial Blaze was released on August 18, 2009. The lead single, So Fine, which was produced by Stephen DeGenius McGregor, premiered on Sean Paul's official website on April 26, 2009. Speaking to Pete Lewis of Blues and Soul magazine in August 2009, Sean Paul stated that Imperial Blaze actually signifies the King's Fire. It's that thing inside of you that gives you the desire to do whatever you do, and be the best in the world at it. The new album consists of 20 tracks including So Fine, Press It Up, She Want Me, Private Party which are party tracks and also love songs such as Hold My Hand, Feet Carrie Hilson, Lately, Now That I've Got Your Love among others. Producers on the album include Don Corleone, Jeremy Harding, and Sean's brother Jason Jigzagula Henriques. All the full songs of the album have been added to Sean Paul's MySpace page on the day of release of the album. The album spawned eight music videos, Always On My Mind, with DeVille, Give It To You, with Eve, Watch Them Roll, Back It Up, with Left Side, I Wanna See You, Push It Baby, with Pretty Ricky, Hit Em, with Fahrenheit and his brother Jason Jigzagula Henriques, Come Over with Estelle, and also the video of his first single, So Fine from the new album. Sean Paul appeared in Shaggy's video, Save a Life, which also includes appearances from Elephant Man and DeVille, among others. In an effort to raise money for a children's hospital, Shaggy, Sean Paul and others had a benefit concert. All proceeds went towards getting new equipment and technology for aid to the Bustamante Hospital for Children. During the premiere for MNET's Big Brother Africa, All Stars on July 18, 2010, he performed his song's Temperature, Hold My Hand, and So Fine. The first single Got To Love You features vocals from American singer Alexis Jordan. It was released on July 19, 2011 by Atlantic Records. The song was written by Sean Paul, Ryan Tedder, and Stargate and produced by Stargate. She Doesn't Mind is the second single from the album. It was written by Sean Paul, Shell Back, and Benny Blanco and was produced by Shell Back and Benny Blanco. It was released on September 29, 2011 on NRJ and Skyrock, French Radios, and to iTunes on October 31. Like its procedure, Got To Love You, featuring Alexis Jordan, it topped the charts in Switzerland, but it debuted at that spot. Sean appeared on the Nevermind the Buzzcocks episode which aired on November 21, 2011. Tomahawk Technique was released on September 18, 2012 in USA. The album was nominated for the Best Reggae Album in the 55th Grammy Awards. Sean Paul is featured in the Simple Plan song Summer Paradise. In 2012, Sean Paul was asked to team up with electronic artist Congo Rock and Mumbatan artist Stereo Massive to feature vocals on their song Blessed in Nation. Sean Paul enjoyed a commercial resurgence in his career throughout 2016 after being featured on three largely successful hit singles by Australian singer SIA, girl band Little Mix and classical crossover group Clean Bandit. On February 6, 2016, Paul performed in the opening ceremony of Pakistan Super League. On February 11, 2016, SIA released a remix version of her song Cheap Thrills featuring Paul. The song became an international hit, reaching number one in more than 15 countries, including the United States, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and Sweden. On April 11, 2016, it was confirmed that Paul would be featured on a track by Little Mix called Hair, from their third album Get Weird. In June 2016, he signed with Island Records. In November 2016, Paul cited Toots and the Matals as inspiration when it comes to his own personal career longevity by saying, I've seen some great people in my industry, you know, people like Toots, Toots and the Matals. Toots he's a great reggae artist and he's still doing it, he's up there in years and he's doing it. 
those kind of artists inspire me. I know I'm just going to keep on doing music as long as I can. In October 2016, Clean Bandit released the song Rockabye, which features Paul and English singer Anne-Marie. It spent nine consecutive weeks at number one, and gained the coveted Christmas number one. On November 18, 2016, he released the lead single off his upcoming seventh studio album, No Lie featuring Dua Lipa. Sean Paul Ryan Francis Henriques O.D., born January 9, 1973, is a Jamaican rapper and singer who is regarded as one of dancehall and reggae's most prolific artists. Paul's singles Get Busy and Temperature topped the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States and most of his albums have been nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Reggae Album, with Duty Rock winning the award. Paul has also been featured in many other singles including Chart Topper's Baby Boy with Beyoncé, Breathe with Blue Cantrell, What About Us by The Saturdays, Rockabye by Clean Bandit, featuring Paul and Anne-Marie, and Cheap Thrills by SIA. No lie, Cheap Thrills, and Rockabye each have over 1 billion views on YouTube, with Rockabye having reached over 2.7 billion views. Sean Paul Ryan Francis Henriques was born in Kingston, Jamaica, on January 9, 1973. His mother Francis, a painter, is of English and Chinese Jamaican descent. His Portuguese paternal great-grandfather's Sephardic Jewish family immigrated from Portugal to Jamaica in the 17th century, while his paternal grandmother was Afro-Jamaican. Paul was raised as a Catholic, though he also attended the Jewish private school Hillel Academy in Jamaica. Many members of his family are swimmers. His grandfather was on the first Sri Lankan men's national water polo team. His father also played water polo for the team in the 1960s, and competed in long-distance swimming, while Paul's mother was a butterfly swimmer. When Paul was 15, his father was arrested on charges of manslaughter and sentenced to 15 years in prison, he was released for good behavior when Paul was 19. Paul played for the national water polo team from the age of 13 to 21, when he gave up the sport in order to launch his musical career. He attended Wolmer's Boys School and the College of Arts, Science, and Technology, now known as the University of Technology, where he was trained in commerce with an aim of pursuing an occupation in swimming. In 1992, Paul worked as a bank teller and enrolled in a hotel management program, learning the basics of French cuisine. Former manager and producer Jeremy Harding's brother told him about a singer at a small open mic event in Kingston who sounded a lot like dancehall DJ and toaster super cat. Harding eventually met the singer when Paul came by his studio to ask for some advice. During the meeting, Paul recorded a vocal over Harding's rhythm track and in the process created the song Baby Girl. Paul began hanging out at the studio every day, and the pair collaborated on several more tracks. When they recorded Infiltrate they decided they had something good enough to get on the radio. As Paul started to attract local attention, Harding began looking after his affairs. He later told hit quarters that his support of Paul's fledgling career initially led him assuming the roles of DJ, manager, road manager, and security guard. Paul made a cameo appearance in the 1998 film Belly on Stage Performing. He made a successful collaboration with DMX and Mr. Vegas, Top Shot Her, to the soundtrack of the film. In 2000, Paul released his debut album, Stage One with VP Records. In 2002, Paul continued his work with manager and producer Jeremy Harding, and after a joint venture deal with his label VP Records and Atlantic Records, announced the release of his second album, Duty Rock. All of its hit singles would receive heavy airplay and rotation on MTV and BET. The first single Gimme the Light was an instant worldwide smash hit, reaching number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. The second single Get Busy would end up topping the Billboard Hot 100, making it Paul's first number 1 hit, it was also the first ever dancehall song to top the chart. Duty Rock was a worldwide success, peaking in the top 10 on the Billboard 200, was certified double platinum by the RIA and eventually selling over 6 million copies worldwide. 
Duddy Rock won the Best Reggae Album at the 46th Annual Grammy Awards in 2004. Get Busy was also nominated for Best Male Rap Solo Performance in that year. Simultaneously, Paul was featured on Beyoncé's U.S. number one hit song Baby Boy and Blue Cantrell's Breathe, although didn't perform well in the United States but was a massive hit in Europe. Both helped to push his reputation further still in the United States. This album not only further popularized dancehall music in the 2000s, but also helped develop and popularized the genre of dancehall pop, a musical fusion between the rhythmic styles and melodies of dancehall and pop music. Paul's third album The Trinity was released on September 27, 2005. The album debuted at number 5 on the Billboard 200, breaking records with its first week sales for a reggae-slash-dancehall artist, eventually going platinum in the United States and selling 4 million copies worldwide. The album produced five big hits, We Be Burnin', Ever Blazin', When You Gonna, Give It Up To Me, featuring Keisha Cole, Never Gonna Be The Same, and the US chart-topping smash hit Temperature, making it his third number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100. The video of, When You Gonna, Give It Up To Me was featured in the film Step Up in 2006. He was nominated for four awards at the 2006 Billboard Music Awards, including Male Artist of the Year, Rap Artist of the Year, Hot 100 Single of the Year, and Pop 100 Single of the Year for Temperature. He also won an American Music Award for, When You Gonna, Give It Up To Me, beating Kanye West and Nick Lachey, who were also nominated for the award. Send It On from the Trinity featured on the 2005 Vauxhall Corsa advert. Paul often contributes his songs to various rhythm-driven albums by VP Records. In March 2007, he returned to Jamaica to perform at the 2007 Cricket World Cup opening ceremony. Paul appears in the video game Def Jam, Fight for New York as part of Snoop Dogg's crew and again in the game sequel, Def Jam, Icon. Paul's fourth album Imperial Blaze was released on August 18, 2009. The lead single, So Fine, which was produced by Stephen DeGenius McGregor, premiered on Paul's website on April 25, 2009. The album consists of 20 tracks including So Fine, Press It Up, She Want Me, and Private Party, which are party tracks, and also love songs such as Hold My Hand, featuring Carrie Hilson, Lately, and Now That I've Got Your Love, among others. Producers on the album include Don Corleone, Jeremy Harding, and Paul's brother Jason Jigzagula Henriques. All the songs of the album were added to Paul's MySpace page on the day of release of the album. The album spawned eight music videos, Always On My Mind with DeVille, Give It To You With Eve, Watch Dem Roll, Back It Up With Left Side, Push It Baby With Pretty Ricky, Hit him with Fahrenheit and his brother Jason Jigzagula Henriques, come over with Estelle, and also the video of his first single, So Fine. Paul appeared in Shaggy's video, Save a Life, which also includes appearances from Elephant Man and DeVille, among others. In an effort to raise money for a children's hospital, Shaggy, Paul, and others had a benefit concert. All proceeds went towards getting new equipment and technology for aid to the Bustamante Hospital for Children. During the premiere for Mnet's Big Brother Africa, All Stars on July 18, 2010, he performed his songs Temperature, Hold My Hand, and So Fine. Paul's fifth album Tomahawk Technique was released on January 24, 2012. The first single, Got To Love You, features vocals from American singer Alexis Jordan. The song was written by Paul, Ryan Tedder, and Stargate, who also produced the song. She Doesn't Mind is the second single from the album. It was written by Paul, Shellback, and Benny Blanco and was also produced by Shellback and Blanco. It was released on September 29, 2011 on NRJ and Skyrock, French Radios, and to iTunes on October 31st. Like its procedure, Got To Love You, it topped the charts in Switzerland, but it debuted at that spot. Paul appeared on the Nevermind the Buzzcocks episode, 
which aired on November 21, 2011. Tomahawk Technique was released on September 18, 2012 in the U.S. The album was nominated for the Best Reggae Album at the 55th Annual Grammy Awards. In 2011, Paul released his first rhythm called Blaze FIA Rhythm under Duty Rock Productions, his own label. In 2012, Paul was asked to team up with Congo Rock and Stereo Massive to feature vocals on their song Blessed in Nation. During 2013, Paul worked on his sixth studio album Full Frequency, which was released on February 18, 2014. The first single on the album, Other Side of Love, was released to iTunes on June 10, 2013. The second single, Entertainment 2.0, which features 2 Chains and Juicy J, was released on June 25, 2013. 35 Paul released the official remix to the song on September 3, 2013 with an additional feature from Nicki Minaj. 36 Turn It Up was released as a single in the UK on October 20, 2013. It was to be released in Germany on November 22, 2013. Want Dem All was released as a single in the US on November 5, 2013. The album features guest appearances from Damian Marley, Iggy Azalea, Brick and Lace, Conscience, Nicki Minaj, 2 Chains, and Juicy J. Also in 2013, Paul was featured on the single What About Us by British girl group The Saturdays. The single went straight to the top of the official UK charts with over 100,000 sales in its first week, becoming the fastest selling single of the year at the time of release. In January 2014, Paul was the main international artist at Fiestas Palmer's 2014 in Costa Rica. 37 Also in 2014, Paul was featured on the official English language version of long running Latin American chart topper Bailando by Enrique Iglesias featuring Gente de Zona and Desemir Bueno. The video for the English version was shot concurrently with the video for the Spanish version in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. The English version reached top 10 status in the United States and topping the charts of several other countries. Paul appeared on the EP Apocalypse Soon by electronic music group Major Lazer on the track Come On To Me, which was released as the second single from the album, after Aerosol Ken, a collaboration with Pharrell Williams. He also collaborated with Nigerian singer Timea on a remix of his song Bum Bum. An accompanying video, directed by Shutta Films, was released online on April 11. On July 6, 2015, Paul released the music video for his song Take It Low on the album Full Frequency. Paul had already became an independent artist after parting ways with Atlantic Records in September 2014. Under new management of Jules Dougal of Dougal Group and Steve Urchin Wilson, Paul enjoyed a commercial resurgence in his career throughout 2016 after being featured on Australian singer SIA's remix version of her song Cheap Thrills, it topped the Billboard Hot 100, making it Paul's first number one hit on the chart since 2006. The song was also a global success, reaching number one in more than 15 other countries. It reportedly ended up becoming the most Shazam song of 2016. Following this resurgence, Paul signed a new record deal with Island Records in July 2016. In October 2016, Clean Bandit released the song Rockabye, which features Paul and English singer Anne-Marie. It peaked at number 9 on the Billboard Hot 100 and spent 9 consecutive weeks at number 1 of the UK singles chart, and gained the coveted Christmas number 1. The song would go on to become a massive global hit in 2017, reaching number 1 in 18 other countries. In November 2016, Paul cited Toots and the Maytals as inspiration when it comes to his own personal career longevity by saying, I've seen some great people in my industry. You know, people like Toots. Toots and the Mate House. Toots he's a great reggae artist and he's still doing it. He's up there in years and he's doing it. Those kind of artists inspire me. I know I'm just going to keep on doing music as long as I can. On November 18, 2016, 
he released a new single No Lie, featuring Dua Lipa, which served as the lead single from his EP Mad Love the Prequel, which would be released in 2018, making it his first project release with Island Records. The song would eventually become a global phenomenon over the following six years after its release, it became a top 10 hit in 10 different countries and would end up becoming his most streamed song across streaming platforms, the music video, directed by Tim Nakashi, also surpassed 1 billion views on YouTube in April 2022, making it his most popular music video. One of the few other singles off the EP, Mad Love, a collaboration with David Guetta, which features singer Becky G, would also make a global impact on the charts, peaking within the top 50 in multiple continents. In 2018, Paul featured in a bilingual remix of CNCO's song Hey DJ, alongside American singer-songwriter Megan Trainer, which was released on November 9, 2018, by Sony Music Latin. In March 2019, Paul collaborated with Colombian singer J Balvin on a bilingual song called Contra La Pierde, the song peaked within the top 15 of the Billboard Hot Latin Songs chart, making it his seventh entry on the chart. It was also a major hit in Spain, peaking in the top 10 on the nation's chart and was a top 30 hit in both Colombia and Argentina. Paul had suggested that Jamaican musicians making use of hardcore patois, a mixture of English with several languages spoken in Jamaica, create a language barrier that prevents them from becoming successful in the United States and the United Kingdom. It was announced that he would receive the Order of Distinction, OD, from the Jamaican government on October 21, 2019, for contribution to the global popularity and promotion of reggae music. In August 2019, Paul was nominated alongside Drake, DJ Snake, and Snow for the favorite crossover artist category at the 2019 Latin American Music Awards. In March 2021, Paul released his seventh studio album called Live and Live In under his own label Duty Rock Productions. Paul collaborated with fellow Jamaican artists Spice and Shaggy for a dancehall single called Go Down Dead. They performed the song live on Good Morning America, Jimmy Kimmel Live, and the Wendy Williams show. The song was massively well received worldwide on the internet, and was named the Dance Hall Track of the Year for 2021 by NPR. In May 2022, Paul released his eighth studio album Scorcha through Island Records. In September 2022, Paul appeared in season 22 of The Voice as Gwen Stefani's coach advisor. In April 2023, Paul collaborated on another bilingual song called Nina Bonita with Colombian singer Fade, the single peaked within the top 50 of the Hot Latin songs making it his ninth entry on the chart, it has also become a top 10 hit in both Colombia and Ecuador and a top 20 hit in Peru, Spain, and Chile. In 2011, Paul established his own record label, Duty Rock Productions, along with his production team. 58 in 2017, Paul signed Jamaican artist Chi Ching Ching to the label, making it the label's first signing. In 2022, in promotion of his eighth studio album Scorcha, he released his own brand of Jamaican patties called the Scorcha Patty along with its hot sauce in partnership with a United Kingdom-based Jamaican restaurant called Port Royal, which was made available for a limited time. In 2016, Paul donated $1 million JMD towards Bustamante Hospital for Children. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Paul founded the Sean Paul Foundation in 2020, aiding less fortunate communities in Jamaica with donations of groceries to poor families and distribution of tablet computers to primary schools for students. Paul has spoken out about climate change. In 2015, he attended the United Nations Climate Change Conference, expressing concerns over pollution and has said that athletes in Jamaica are having to run in smog. He has advocated for waste reduction, solar power, and the use of electric cars. He collaborated with Paul McCartney, Natasha Beatingfield, Bon Jovi, Colby Calais, and various other artists on a single called Love Song to the Earth to spread awareness about climate change. In 2018, Paul was named an ambassador for climate change in the Caribbean. In 2022, 
Paul stated in his efforts to help combat climate change, I have made the move to make my whole house solar powered. From the water to all the lights, and it runs my studio as well. In 2012, Paul married his long-term girlfriend, Jamaican television host Jody Stewart. In August 2016, it was announced that the couple was expecting their first child. On February 26, 2017, Paul announced the birth of their son, Levi Blaze. Their second child, Remy, was born on August 20, 2019. Stage 1, 2000. Duty Rock, 2002. The Trinity, 2005. Imperial Blaze, 2009. Tomahawk Technique, 2012. Full Frequency, 2014. Live and Live In, 2021. Scorcha, 2022. Thank you for watching this video.